Hello, I'm Brent Ferris from the Bearded Man Studios, and I finally given in to doing the request animation frame that people have been talking about for HTML5, rather than using a set interval. So what we'll have to do to set this up is we need to delete out the set interval and just make this say, um, let's start off with update, so function update, and same thing for draw, so let's delete out this interval. Let's do function draw. And now what we'll need to do is set up this embedded function before our draw. I just want to do it up here so it's a reminder. So function, and we can close it off. And this function is going to be a var request animation frame is equal to window dot request animation frame or window dot moz request animation frame or window dot webkit request animation frame or window dot ms request animation frame. Basically this makes it cross-platform so no matter what uh, we're on, if we're on Chrome, Firefox, or Internet Explorer, we will um, get the proper function call for the animation frame, frame request. And all we have to do is set it to window dot request animation frame is equal to request animation frame. Now that that is set up we can create a, a variable for our ID of the request, so it's var request ID is equal to zero and we can set up our start and stop functions so let's first set up our uh, at the very end of our draw first at the beginning of our draw let's do an update function and then at the very end of our draw let's do request ID is equal to window dot request animation frame pass in draw as the function it's kind of like a refer recursive function in that way. Uh, and from there we can do a function start is equal to request animation uh, sorry, is e request ID is equal to window dot request animation frame draw and we have a stop function so function stop is going to be set to if request ID then we're going to do window dot cancel animation frame and pass in our request ID and at the bottom of that let's set request ID equal to zero at the very very bottom let's call our start so it starts up uh, as soon as we start uh, everything up so let's jump back to the page and refresh to see if there's any errors there are errors missing a parentheses on line 79. 79 has a parentheses, so we're missing a parentheses somewhere else apparently. Update draw. Parentheses, parentheses, parentheses. Start. Interesting. After argument list. Let's comment this out and see what it says then. Okay, something is wrong in our start function. Let's just copy this because these should be the same. Fresh, there we go. Falling a little bit slow for my taste. It's kind of floaty. Float, 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 float. So we may want to. Uh, update this a little bit. Uh, let's set our update back to our set interval. So let's go back up to our update and let's say um, this, oh, not this, just call var update is equal to set interval function um, and at the bottom update at one every tick basically. There we go. So now our drawing is all correct and whatnot, and there's our shooting. So and that, that's how uh, 
that's how you set up the request animation frame. It is better than the set interval for drawing uh, because the actual web browser itself has optimizations for frames and buffering and all that stuff. So it's preferred that you use that for the canvas. Uh, I hope this helped out. I hope you enjoyed and um, thanks for watching.